There's like this fucking trend right now, and, and it's getting me so fucking pissed. I'm done with it. Like, after this, any fucking game that comes out that took like 10 fucking years, whatever the fuck, it got the, it had to get delayed fucking 700 times. My grandma had to go outside, so I couldn't fucking finish the game. Here it is. Automatic zero. Automatic fucking zero. I'm tired of this fucking bullshit. Do you understand what the fuck it is when you have to fuck? Like, this is the third game. I just, I beat Kingdom Hearts three, like, three days ago. And it's, Gore, last, this is the last, like, fucking seven that I give a fucking game like this. All right? The first one was Metal Gear. The second one was fucking Final Fantasy XV. And now I have to take this shit from this fucking game? Get the fuck out of here. All right? There's a lot of shit that fucking pisses me off. And it's this kind of fucking bullshit, bro. Because it's like... What the fuck even? What even makes sense? Like, what compels you to fucking do this in a game, bro? Like, oh, oh, hey. Let's fucking do this. Let's have Sora die, right? Let's send him to the fucking afterlife and then do nothing for the next 30 minutes to a fucking hour. Are you fucking kidding me? What the? Why was that even there? Who the fuck does that? Why was that even there? Why does that even make sense? It doesn't. It's fucking stupid. Who the fuck in their right mind says, Yo, you know it'd be crazy? Instead of doing some character development, we just make him like, uh, I don't know, look for himself. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, I'm tired of this fucking dumb ass concept in a fucking game. I don't care. I do not care. You're getting an automatic zero. I don't care. If there are blatant flaws, like, like fucking just... It's glitchy, it's fucking, it feels so dumb, like it's not even worth the money that you paid for. I, I don't even want to hear it in the fucking comments. I don't care who reads this, even if it's probably just going to be Sean listening to me fucking yell for like, I don't know how long this shit's going to go. But Jesus Christ, I am not fucking debating this with anyone. I don't care. AAA games should not be coming out at this fucking level. This is asinine. This is so stupid. I don't even know if I use that word correctly. That's how mad I am. What? Like, why the fuck? Who does that? Like, the gaming overall is like a seven. Cool. Nice job, Kingdom Hearts. Woo! Kingdom Hearts 3. That's, the, that's like the fucking rating you get. Hey, at least you came out. Thanks for doing this for the fans. Okay, that is the last time a game does that. If Shenmue 3 comes out and it is like that, it's an automatic fucking zero. It is the, it is, this is, we are beyond this. And if any of you fuckheads want to fucking disagree with me, then suck my whole fucking dick. Because it doesn't make any sense. Why the fuck should I pay $60 for a fucking game that's not going to be finished? Why the fuck are you going to put it out? Just delay it some more! Fucking Final Fantasy 15 did that shit and it was still mediocre. The fucking side stories were garbage. Garbage. They were like MMO side stories. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, you can't just justify, oh, we have so many side stories when they're all the same. It's the same shit with fucking Metal Gear. Why the fuck did Metal Gear do that? Oh, hey, you want to fucking rescue this fucking dumbass f seven times? Seven? Bro. How many times does Hideo Kojima have to get lost before he fucking finds his way? It's so stupid. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Like, you can't say that there's hours of gameplay when every hour is the same! It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It just doesn't. I don't get that. Like, it doesn't... It does not make sense. Who the fuck gets on a fucking game and says, Hmm, you know what would be great? You know what would really make the game longer? You know, uh, just put the same shit and put it over again. Just do that! Get the fuck out of here, man. Like... It doesn't even make sense. It does not make sense. Had to just uh, come in and <laughs> cover up my window because my neighbors might be outside. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. We should be beyond this. Like, this is so stupid. Why do you feel the need to fucking, like, like I get it. You want to do something for the fans. But if it's not ready, then don't put it out.
Sora's, so that was Sora's moment. You know, Sora led up to this whole thing. This whole game was about Sora and that he didn't believe in himself. And that the whole, every single last game has been about him and his friends, him and his friends, him and his friends, my friends are my power. Suck my fucking dick. Kyrie, I don't really love you, but uh, I kind of do. I realize you have tits and I think I'm growing. I don't know. This was Sora's moment. This was fucking Sora's fucking moment, dog. This was it right here. And you know what happened? They flopped it so fucking hard. It was retarded. It was the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. The last boss fights were awesome. Don't get me wrong, but it's like... No. No, dude. Like, there was nothing there. There was nothing of substance. For as, as convoluted as this plot is, there was no character development. And it was such a shame. It was like... It was such a waste of time. I wait like I was so angry. I was so angry because I saw this moment. I saw Sora die, and I'm like, "Holy shit, what's happening now?" And then I see him in the afterlife, and I was thinking like, "Oh, this will be like one of those moments where you know, the the character has to reflect on all his past moments, and then he'll maybe see that he has it within himself all along, and that sometimes you don't need your friends. Sometimes you need to believe in yourself and just like go for it. And that would be so great because the I mean I understand the theme of of Kim Hearts's friendship. But it's like, you should also be, like, self-sufficient. You should be, you know, you should believe in yourself enough to have the confidence to go out and do those kinds of things. Like Riku or fucking King Mickey. To see Sora evolve into that character. Maybe he hasn't gotten there yet, but who knows? I mean, whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. I mean, I didn't fucking make the game. I just bought it. But it is so dumb. It is so stupid to sit there and to have to deal with this bullshit. Why would you even keep it in the game? They didn't even have to do this. They could have just knocked him out. He could have been knocked out on the side to not say that they killed him. And that all, all of his friends are scattered off and stuff. And that he, he needs to find them on the battlefield. And then you're like fighting more and more heartless and stuff like that. It could have been like... You know, you know, you, you find the first couple, of, like, you could have changed the whole concept. Like, it could have been like they get knocked out, right? Boom. And then next, you, you, the first person you find isn't even Donald and Goofy. You find Riku. Riku is the first person that you find. And it's kind of like you two. And it's like a callback to Kingdom Hearts 2 where it's just the two of you. And then you guys are both fighting Heartless and stuff. And it could be like a cool little bonding moment between these guys who are like brothers with each other. And then, boom, King Mickey comes in. And he's like, oh, hey, guys, I gotta go fucking uh, go suck my dick. And then he, like, fucking jumps off, and, <laughs> and I don't know, he, like, goes to fight Heartless and stuff. And then slowly you, fight, st you find all of the members, and then you get back again. And then, it's like, Sora can come to some sort of realization, like, that he's had the, the power of waking all along. Who the fuck? I don't know. Like, I, I'm just saying, like, you could have just done something different, you know? And it's just dumb. I hate that. I hate this trend that's going on now with games about being... You know, this is like, uh, sorry we had these issues, we had this bullshit. I don't give a fuck, you get a fucking zero now. Every fucking game after this, any fucking game that comes after this, and it has that same fucking shit, it is an automatic zero. I do not fucking care. It doesn't matter. This should not be happening, especially at the level of what this game is. This game made, sold um, like a million copies. $60 a pop times a million, you do the math. Like, they made their money back, whatever it was over these last couple of years. And if the fucking next game is a pile of stinking garbage wrapped in shit, I swear to God I will not buy another Kingdom Hearts game. Because this has gone for far too long. This has gone long enough. And, like, I don't get that. I don't get this shit anymore. I don't care. I don't care about whatever comments people have to make. I don't care. I'm decided on this. This is stupid. If, you may, if you're going to make us pay $60, then give us $60 worth. Like, I don't care. It's so fucking dumb. Like, oh, what about fucking, oh, San Fran Yokio or whatever the fuck it's called? That shit was empty as fuck. They didn't even use most of it. They, it's like just like this big ass playground. It's probably like a demo area that they used for like fucking 12 years that they were making the goddamn game fucking like get the fuck out of here man it's some it's fucking stupid